Hi, I'm Desper Robinson. You're watching B83, and this is another episode of Meet the Artist. And today, I'm here with D2. Yeah. What's going on, bro? Um, I'm all right, man. I'm nice, man. Yeah. I'm nice. Yeah. How's how's the, how's life? Like, how's things for you? <sighs> okay. Are you eating the life. Okay. I, I want to know how is life? life. Well, obviously, my life's took a, a big change, a big change, and a drastic change. Yeah, things yeah. have changed for me. Yeah. Big how, time. How's all? Like, um, well, as you know, as a lot of people know, like. Uh, Recently, yeah, I got married, mm. yeah, which was, it was a big decision, like I said, a big change for me, and um, on the on the lead up, yeah, to get married, as I was pursuing my bride, obviously, music did get brought up, yeah, what I do in music got brought up, and obviously, because, because I'm Muslim, yeah. as you know, I'm Muslim, and she's, she's a Muslim girl, and, um, where I had a more um, westernised upbringing, do you know what I mean? Because I'm I'm mixed race. Uh, my mum, bless her soul, she's she's Scottish, so I'm half Scottish, and my dad um, is from Yemen. Mm. But I was from Yemen. He he came into he came into the country when he was about twelve to get education. Do you know because that's what it's like uh, back in my country. Like the the family will save up, and they will select one child. Wow. Do you know what I mean? They select one child that they believe will uh, go to England, get an education, do you know what I mean? And build a foundation and then um, their ideas is, uh, do you know what I mean? Make sons to bring over more Yemeni, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. So brides to bring over brides and they'll be like, oh yeah, um, you're gonna, your son, they, like my grandma would have picked who I will marry before I'm even born. Do you know what so I mean? Like, like, like planet, planet you, when she has a daughter, <laughs> yeah. she's not even <laughs> born yet. <laughs> when she has a daughter, What's it? But obviously, yeah, it, it, times have changed and yeah. things don't go that way. So obviously, I was I had a, a westernized upbringing. I wasn't really on um, religion too much because I was stuck in between two cultures. I was mm. stuck in between my my mum's culture, a bless her soul, and stuck in between my father's culture. Now, every Christmas we'd go up to Scotland. Yeah, every Christmas and th now. The, when you talk about turn up here, yeah, before yeah, turn yeah. up was invented, <laughs> these that like, invented turn up. Now, uh, all respect to my my aunts and uncles from Scotland, but there would be a time where they'd look at me and they'd be like, "Is it no time for your bed?" And that <laughs> means yo, we're about to get mash up. Like yeah, they yeah. would, the way uh, English people drink is like you have a little bit of the liquor and the rest is chaser. Now Scottish people, it's in reverse. Like oh. th there's like a. Do you know what I mean? Wow. A little bit well, of chaser. That's where, you know, Bell's whiskey and all them kind of, they, they, this is they, what they I'm do saying. this alcohol stuff. And I remember one time I, uh, uh, my auntie, like, this is what I'm saying about me being, it's been hard for me to hold on to my Islamic culture as I was young. Yeah. Because the, I'm up in Scotland celebrating Christmas, looking forward to Christmas, Santa Claus, everything, do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So, do you know what I'm saying? And then I've got like my, my auntie and all my uncle, I like, say no names, but like, I go make me a vodka and coke like that. I go into the kitchen and I've seen vodkas and coke made. I put a bit of what, and I give it to them and they'll be like, what's that? That's coke. And they're passing it around and they're laughing. Like, That's coke. And I'm like, yo, I put a lot of vodka yeah, in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do you know what I mean? There was, that was my upbringing. Do you know what I mean? My upbringing was more towards my mother's side because it was easier mm. and it was not as strict as if you would have had an Islamic upbringing because, yeah. you know what I mean? There's a lot of things you have to participate, like Ramadan, you know what I mean? You have to fast and stuff like that, which is hard for a child, do you know what I mean? But children don't really have to, but you can choose to, do you know what I mean, if you're strong enough. So I've had that type of upbringing where it's, you know what I mean, I've been in between two, I've been in between my mother's, been in between my father's. But as I was getting older, I decided I knew in my heart what was right. That side's easier and it's a lot of fun, do you know mm. what I mean? I can go out, I can have girlfriends, I can drink, I can party. That side is going to be more strict on me, but I feel like there's more security in that side and my, my you know what I mean my conscience is more clearer that side's harder and this side's pulling me saying it's easy but I feel like I have to go against the tide do you know what I mean mm. so there was there was I would see at a fa family parties and stuff like that but this is the Muslim side yeah this is like weddings where everything's strict if you come in like yo you can't look at it. if you go in you can't look at the women you're only here because your family and you're young and yeah. when it gets to a certain age you want to be able to come into this room because it's women 
and we have to segregate because we can't get at these things people hooking up and stuff like that yeah, and yeah. doing doing haram things haram so it's things, prevented yeah. do you know what i mean so i saw somebody i had my eye on in it mm. and i thought yo and this girl just stuck in my head and i just from the first time i saw her i just thought wife <laughs> bro <laughs> you can away. ask jay off camera fam and jay even says to this day bro i don't even know how you did it from your psychic you get me yeah so i was like yo that's wife but i was still doing my crud in it i was still on road this was even before music fam like i was on so obviously oh, so you, you, how, how long ago was it that you that you you first saw it so this get bruv years ago bruv like 16 fam wow and i'm there on road with like my browning girl and stuff yeah, like that yeah. and i'm even telling her about <laughs> this girl and she's like if you wanna then just go in it like you know one of them ones so i was like yo that's that's if you're not gonna revert for me then i'm gonna go and mm. do you know what i mean but psh, i'm talking about re her reverting for me and I weren't even a proper Muslim them days because I was still drinking, I was smoking weed. I'm, I have got a girlfriend, do you know what I'm saying? So as the time came on, I'd, I'd get family to send little messages to her, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. oh, they done this and that. And do you know what I mean? I caught eye a couple of times, you know, like that. I caught eye. Mm. Obviously, yeah, I was like the, you know what I mean? I was like the token mixed race boy in, in, the, in the place, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody knows. And I don't look at them, I'm saying don't look at him, do you know what I mean? How, and not to cut you, but how is that for you? In, 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 in you know, you t you've spoken a lot about the Scottish culture yeah. initially, but how is that for you? If you've been mixed race, how's yeah. that for you on the, on the other side in your, in your Muslim and Islamic culture? It's hard. Is it? Yeah, it's hard. It's it's like you. Um, I just expect you to be a mess up. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, you do. You do get branded. And I'm not saying I, maybe this isn't just the Muslim culture. Maybe this is just the Yemeni Arab culture. But I see the same traits in that, like in a lot of other different cultures. Because at the, at the same way, like in Black culture, like a few years back, like. I think red skin was, do you know what I mean? Yeah, they were looked at kind of down on, do you know what I mean? Because of what they represented and stuff like that. So, yeah, it was kind of, you've got to think, with this girl, she's, you know what I mean? She's my wife. She's very intelligent. She's a good girl. And how can you, how can you say, oh, we're going to give it to this bad boy? Mm. How can you justify that if that's your daughter? Mm. Do you know what I mean? You can't. You can't justify that when there's... Uh, a, a guy that's never had a girlfriend he's been on his dean which is obviously he's been yeah. into his religion his whole life and he's gonna do you know what i mean he's got money he's got everything how can you choose me over him do you see what i'm saying so i had to work big time so as i was saying on the lead up to me getting my bride after i sent out messages and everything like yeah I'm, and she's like nah he's just a mess up he just wants a girlfriend i'm like nah trust me trust me i want to get married do you know what I mean? In my heart, I want to get back on my dean. I want to raise a Muslim family. Do you know what I mean? So obviously, long story short, yeah, I'm in there, yo. I'm in there, like, yo, it's on the table. Do you know what I mean? It's funny how it came around because it came around for the simple fact, bless her soul, my mum died, yeah? Mm. And then my auntie sent a message out to this girl. It's like, basically, I think it was a whole fact, look at him. He's in a bad place now. He needs spiritual guidance you know what i mean he needs to come back to his religion he's always wanted to marry her and he says if you gave him the chance he'd change his life so that was where it was and i i spoke i, I, I sent a message on should i say i sent a message on i says i've always wanted to marry her i've always wanted to come to the light yeah mm. and this is the, the this is the time now because when i lost my mom Daps was there for me a lot. JK was there for me a lot. Do you know what I about? You know what I love JK, man. This geezer he used to thought, dear, you're all right, dear, you're all right. Yasin as well, all of them. And because I, I bottled it in and I was so staunch with it, because in our religion we only believe that you only mourn for three days, and anything more than that, you sort of punishing the person that's gone because they can hear it and they oh. don't want you to mourn yeah, yeah, and they don't yeah. want you to use their death as an excuse to ruin your life like certain people do where they will pick up the bottle mm. my mom died my dad died you know what i mean forget life to how we've life do you know what i mean this is a part of life we live we die do you know what i mean your parents are supposed to die before yeah you know what i mean like in the situations where children have died before their parents like depths do you know what i mean yeah. that's when it gets hard so basically yeah, that that's was there for me a lot, and that's the whole way it comes into. I had one talk with D two about Islam. That was them times yeah, yeah, because 
I was I, I just thought I'm gonna get spiritual now because this is Allah's test to me do you know what I mean I'm showing you you know what I mean life is short don't throw away your life because you don't get no second chances yeah. life is short so I knew the time is now in it so that's when I, I switched it up yeah I switched up got back on onto my religion and then I got my foot in the door I'm in her house sitting on the couch about dad <laughs> I'm like this I don't know how to act I don't know how to react and music got brought up okay and how did you answer that that, that line of question <laughs> uh, oh man it was like because I mean you know secular music is obviously it is classed as a haram thing yeah it? yeah so yeah. how how did you how did you, how did you uh, even bridge that that conversation man do you know what they, they could have been stricter parents they're very strict parents, but mm. they're very understanding. Alhamdulillah, they're very understanding. I love my in-laws, man. I love her brothers, her sisters. I got so much love for them, for the way that they, they, they gave me a chance. And it, they gave me a chance. It gets hard. Do you know what I mean? They back me up enough times. Anytime I'm slipping, they'll, they'll back me up, which is good for me. Do you know mm. what I mean? So I'm sitting on the couch and I know, I know it's going to get brought up, man. And he looked at me and he goes, Zaydan. <laughs> You're on YouTube, jumping around. Alcohol, women, this wow. is not good. And my dad broke it down to me and they're both grilling me. My dad's like, how do you expect How do you expect to do this music thing? You'll be on tour, you'll be around girls, you'll be around drink, your wife and kids are at home, you ain't gonna have no time for them. So I was like thinking about it and that's when I realized, you know what? Maybe this music thing's for Jay. Maybe it's for socks, maybe it's for that's That's their profession, that's what they want in life. I realized, do you know what? This is what I want in life. Mm. I just want a family, man. I just, I just want what I see other people have. Do you know what I mean? I just want kids. I want to come home maybe after a hard day's work, normal, decent wages. I mean, I'm doing well right now. Mm. I just moved into a house. Yeah, congratulations. You know, like that, yeah, fam. Yeah. Fam, I was doing music. I was in a hostel, bro. I was looking on chicken and chips for the day, but that's what man was looking at. Yeah. Now man's looking at six bag bikes. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Man's looking on yards, things yeah. like that. That's what happened when I started moving away. Now I know you can get that type of stuff through mm. music, but I'm saying I'm doing it through the honest so way. For your for your path, it's paying off for and then yourself. If music is a bonus to me because music is a hobby like even when I stop every so often bars will just come in my head I'll be at work and I'm just like looking like a maniac but the, my manager's probably looking at me thinking this geezer's off his rockers he's over there talking to himself mm. but I'm um, do you know what I mean yeah, I guess when you've done it so long it's something you can't shake man like, you can't just like be like oh okay done man's go to the to the park to play football mm. yeah I spit bars yeah, bro. yeah that's yeah. the difference and I'm in a, it's like for me maybe one of them geezers that play football, a scout will just see them and, and they'll be, do you know what I mean? They'll start playing pro. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? That's what it's like for me. Like uh, right now I'm playing around pros. So when it comes to me making a tune, I'm so apprehensive because I'm listening to what Daps has just made. I'm listening to what JK's just wrote. Yeah. So I could even make a tune that years ago I would drop, but now I can't drop it because I feel like it's got to be on the level of Daps. Because the same way Daps would make a new tune, he'll phone me up, he'll come all the way from his yard just to sit in the car and just watch me yeah. listening to his tune. <laughs> yeah, I've been on the receiving end of one of those listening sessions. With well. Daps? Yeah, yeah. It's Do same, you know what I'm saying? And he's thing. just looking at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and he's, just, he's just analysing. Every and he reaction. knows as well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he knows, man. He knows. So that's what I'm, do you know what I mean? That's what I'm around. It helps at the same time. It helps with writing because I know what level i got to be at. Mm. But at the same time, it makes me apprehensive. I just think, oh, you know what, I can't drop that. I think I made a, a, a tune not so long ago and I said to JK, yeah, I'm going to drop this. And Jay was like, nah, man, you're better than this, man. You can't, this can't be you coming out of the woodworks again with this. Like, it's got to be something big. No. Maybe that's a good thing or a bad thing. I feel like that that whole perspective, yeah, that whole frame of mind is what keeps artists on the shelf. When they think, nah, I can't drop this, I can't drop that. You're second guessing yourself a lot, man. Exactly. It's, 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 it's dangerous because yeah. sometimes you build up the pressure. Probably why Dr. Dre hasn't put out Detox because yeah. he's built up so much pressure yeah. over the long time. Like, he so knows you can, the pressure of that. It. It's been 10 years now. Yeah. I can't just drop that after exactly. 10 years. Exactly. So, you know, maybe... But it's, it's interesting because I would have I never... You know, having just done the essence at the start of the year, yeah, um, and 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 you you know seeing you involved in music and being yeah. around music people, I would have never have known that this is kind of the pathway 
that you've been on and the kind of the mind frame that you're in in terms yeah. of like being you know following Dean again yeah. and and putting the music away slightly is and is it is it that you're just like moving away completely or I mean I guess if you were you wouldn't even be sat here now would we <laughs> so I mean how 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 now that you you kind of got past like the in-laws and you managed to get you know get your wife etc yeah. are they accepting of you even though it is a hobby are they accepting of you like still wanting to pursue it a little bit or are they still like I think um, on, bro, like, it all know. came down to because I had to, t that was one of the um, criteria I had to match, I had to take a step back from music and you know what I mean, I had to better my life basically. Now I met them criteria, you know what I mean, I ticked off all them boxes, yeah. I had to, I, 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 you know what I mean, I got a job, I started stacking peas, yeah, I started stacking peas, I moved out of the hostel into a, into a, a bad boy apartment. Do you know what I mean? Private. Mm. No, I didn't wait for their their swag. Do you know what I mean? Flats that they're gonna give me out in some racist areas with yeah. some crackhead living downstairs. So you know what I'm saying? I got out and I was like, boom, ticking off all the boxes, ticking off all the boxes. And then I made it. You know what I mean? I walked down the aisle with my wife. You know what I'm saying? I, I had um, JK was one of the best best men. You know what I'm saying? I remember the look that Jay gave me, and it is he told me after his ID, man. Oh man, because I walked, I walked down the aisle, yeah, in the registry office, and Jay was on the front row, and he was right on the corner in it, and I'm walking, and I'm like staunch, and big man <laughs> type, like, gotta be staunch, like that, and Jay was just looking at me, and the shock on his face, and it was just like, he was thinking the same thing, that like, how the hell is this, <laughs> like, like what we've been through, he's thinking, how the hell are we right here, right now, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like you the one getting married. And do you know what I mean? Life takes you to some funny places, do you know what I mean? Like, we carry Depp's coffin, we, now we're in the, do you know what I mean? Registry office, he's watching his boy get married and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Like, life, do you know what I mean? Like, time just flies, and it? Like, do you know what I mean? That's why you can't be stuck in one place, and it? Because it, it, life just flies, so... I remember walking up and I just looked at JK like that and I just winked at him and it like, like I'm gone fam. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. this is my, this is my path in it. So you pursue yours and it, because I pursued mine and it, and that's why he, he needs to pursue his right now because he always says to me like, yo, I don't want to get a job. I don't want, he wants this. Daps wants that. Yeah. Sucks wants that. Yeah. I have what I want right now, but I love, music like i love spitting bars that's my hobby and it that's my hobby even like i'll itch i'll have to go studio and lay a track even if it don't get released i'll just lay the track listen to it a few times and then be like nah won't drop that mm. ain't gonna drop that you get me but then it's to the next time do you know what i'm saying and then i'll get a desperate will me yo I need you to come do this <laughs> yeah. and that will just quench my first as yeah, well yeah, yeah, do you know like yeah. that that will quench my first and then you think to yourself, nah, man, I'm just dying out, man. I ain't in this music scene no more. And then somebody, a fan that don't know the hierarchy, will see you and be like, D2, D2, oh, oh mate, you're my favourite in Invasion. You are, you're the best you are and this and that. And I'll be like, what you mean? Like, they don't know the hierarchy. They don't know the difference between me, JK, Kano, yeah, Wiley. Yeah, 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 yeah. They don't so know the difference. Like, they're just like you. They, it, they don't man. know the yeah. difference between a tune and a freestyle. Yeah. And bare MCs will know what I'm talking about. Where a yeah. man come up to you and say, you know what, she's sick his tune. And they'll talk about a freestyle you've done on P1 and And you think to yourself, that ain't a tune, but mm. that's a freestyle. But they don't know the difference. Music today is just music. It's just, just music. It's just music today, and it? that's beautiful. They're the people you should make music for, mm. not the ones that just follow you because a girl that they like likes her so they're oh he's cool mm. so i'm gonna have to be cool so i have to like who's cool and then when you're not cool they don't like yeah, you because they didn't even listen to your music yeah. they just followed you on twitter to get a retweet because their bridging just hyped or oh, d2 just follow or oh, jk just follow me on twitter yeah they follow you on twitter can i get a follow back then they go back to their bridging yeah he's following me as well mm. on to the next do you know what I mean? They don't care about you. They don't even care about the culture. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just a stripe on their jacket. Do you know what I mean? And a lot of people, a lot of artists are doing this for stripes on their jacket. Yes. It's got yeah. nothing to do with music, yeah. bruv. You get me? They, they they took up music way, way late. Do you know what I mean? The thing that, you know, you know the only good thing about what you just said there in terms of the, it, one, it shows uh, with, with those artists that are just doing it for stripes on their jacket. Yeah. Um, and two, they don't last long. Anyway, no, no. Like for all the hype that they get, it's is with music that always eventually has to be substance. Yeah, definitely. Like it will run out. You know, 
know, you have to give substance else. There's nothing there. So, yeah. Yeah, and and next there'll be another person that's in it for the hype, yeah. and they're gone again. Gone. And you'll see the people. I mean, I've been around for a long time now, so I've, I've I can I can spot them straight away. Yeah. I can see the people who are serious about the art of music mm -hmm. and who are just here for the for the for the hype of it. Yeah. Um. So it's it's cool. But I want to talk about um. You and J.K. Man, like you know, you 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 got a good relationship. You've mentioned. Yeah. He's there for you um, yeah. when you when your mother passed away. Yeah, yeah. He's there for you um, at your wedding, yeah. and you know you and J.K. You know, carried you know debts when he passed away. Yeah. And did you meet each other through music, or did you know each other before? It was um, it was music slash gang affiliation. It <laughs> was um, there was obviously we was I was from Borders Green B9. He's from Small Leaf B10. B9 B10 Small Leaf man them. Obviously, yeah, we heard about each other. I saw him clash one guy. I'm not even going to say the geezer's name because I don't want him to get flashbacks of the way he got <laughs> murdered. But do you know what I mean? When Jay's saying, yo, every clash, this and that, like, I know what he's on about. And and what I, the, the, what I used to listen to years ago, yeah, mm. the feeling I used to get, yeah, I felt like I didn't get anymore. When I used to listen to Power Hill Crew, yeah. GT and Zolan, all yeah. of them, a lot of you grind fans don't even developers. know who they are, you get yeah. me? That's what I'm saying. And then I heard JK clash in Small Leaf Park around loads of, and I saw the charisma in him. I thought, yo, I would not like to clash him. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I would not like to clash him. And the way it was like clashing, yeah. And I thought, yo, this guy's a six. And he heard of me as well. He heard of me on a few sets, GRC sets, yeah, with um, Gallis and, and Torchhead. They was a crew way, way back as well. That every time I tried to take a back seat from Grime, somebody would always latch on to me and bring me and say, yo, you sick, come to this set, come to that set. That's the way it always went. So that was the last stage. It was JK. He was the one that came and, and he brought his friends and he was like, yo, I'm the sickest MC in B10 and this is the sickest MC in B9, you get me? So, obviously, we latched together, and then I was small. I was SHM through Subsy, but I didn't really used to chill with JK because they were the youngers. Yeah, yeah. JK was baby face, chubby JK. Then, do you know what I mean? So we knew he was affiliated, and then I just start seeing seeing him on Fifth a bit more with Drizzle and a few of his boys, and then we just got closer and closer and closer, and then it went from a music affiliation to friendship. Mm. The first time he brought me to a set and I got my big reload in front of Vader and this and that. This was before I was invasion, do you know what I mean? And then JK, obviously Vader took his under his wing. Daps was invasion them days, Leisha. A lot of people was invasion them days. And then obviously, yeah, now it's not just SHM, it's invasion. Because he's saying to me, I'm going to get you an invasion. I'm going to get you an invasion. I was like, nah, man, nah, man. Do you know what I mean? That's for you, like, like. I'm not on it like that. I know how to spit bars. I don't know how to make tunes. I don't know how to go to a studio and do my ad libs. And I didn't even know what they were called them days. So JK had, he had, uh, he was mature in making music. Him and Gex could, uh, you can still hear their tunes way, way back. And some of their tunes from years ago when they were like 16, 17 are really good songs. Mm. I listened to some of them at Gex's house and I was like, yo, He's like used to make good music, you get me? So he belongs where he is right now, JK, because he, he built it up. It weren't just like, as you say, these people for the hype, because they get the hype and then they're like, oh, safe, I can get girls because of my name now. I don't mm. need to do music anymore. You know what I mean? Mm. What's that, bruv? Like, you get me? You're a sellout, fam. Yeah, it's, 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 it's not good, man. And it, it really devalues what it is that um, we're doing and other yeah, people are doing that to take serious. Because, yeah. you know, music is an art form mm -hmm. and people that come in and do that, you are really devaluing it and just putting out, you know, crap out yeah, into the world. It. But it, it's 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 one of those you can't you can't tell anybody what they can and can't do. Yeah. And if they want to take up music and do what they're doing it's fine. But eventually like I said it will fizzle yeah, out. Yeah, they'll fizzle out, innit? But it, it's 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 always you know, I just interviewed Jay once before you, yeah. and me and him made each other free music. Yeah, and I didn't know him before, and we're great friends now. But you're friends now, we're yeah. Friends now, and yeah. it's it's nice, man. It's it's to see the brotherhood that's developed through you know the love of the music to start off, and then to see this person with you through so many ups and downs in your life. We're um, like we're like brothers, like you know you can you, you can fall out in the worst way with your brother. Yeah. And then a week later, it's just water under the bridge. Like me and JK have been at each other's throats. I've been like, F J K, forget J K, this and that. Within three days, bro, we're we're back together because we're not just friends now. We're family, 
I haven't got a relationship like that with a lot of people, do you know what I mean? I've got friends that we just stay friends, we don't fall out. Me and Jay are like brothers. Years ago, my brother even said to me, my actual brother, you know I'm here for you. You know I'm your brother, not JK. <laughs> I swear my, my brother should be said that, man, because he saw, he JK was like, he's like my, my little big brother. He's younger than me, but he's still like my big brother. So was Depp's little big brother, you know what I mean? It's, it, do you know what I mean? We got proper love. The way he he loved Depp's, do you know what I'm saying? It, it's it's more than this whole music thing. Mm. We like it. You well, can tell, man. You can tell. It's can tell. Uh, it's such a, it's a shame, and it is it's just a shame when when you lose a, a friend that's like a brother to you. The way J.K. used to look on him, J.K. was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna go through with this skeezer." You know what I mean? He saw that I were at, I think at a young age he thought it was me and him in it, but he saw that I weren't on it as much as he was. I didn't think about music 24-7 the way he did. He knew Depp, this is a geezer that thinks of it more than I do. Depp, this is a geezer that's actually better than me, that's going to be better than me. Do you know what I mean? So when them two, do you know what I mean? I wasn't a person to, I felt like, you know what I mean? I'm not with them, but I still loved it. Do you know what I mean? I love seeing them two mature and I thought, yo, these two, like, this is like, this is gonna be like Pac and Biggie if they yeah. were, if they yeah. stayed together. Yeah, stay do you know together. what I mean? Yeah. So do you know what I'm saying? It's it's a shame that do you know what I mean. JK had to had to lose Depths the way he did. Do you know what I mean? I think that if if Depths was still here, I think JK would be in a better place musically because he wouldn't be able to just take a back seat in times that he does and deal with his. Do you know what I mean? With his isms. Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because he'd be looking at Depths. Showing him up because Depp should never take a back seat. Do you know what I'm saying? So he'd be always with Depp's, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, Depp's is doing that. Watch what I'm going to do, this and that. So they used to feed off each other's energy a lot. Mm, I mean, I haven't got a chance. To, I haven't had a chance to, to speak to you about this before. But, you know, obviously we, we're a couple of years since the, the passing of Depp's. Um, I think it's nearly three years now, isn't it? You know, mm. Coming up, up to this year. Um, and it's obviously affected a lot of people. I mean, how did that, how did that affect you, you know? I um, think I was in. I was engaged at that time. I was engaged. Even even my my wife knew about Depps. Even my brother knew about Depps. I used to say, "Ah, uh, this this guy like he's he's something else." You know what I mean? He's young and he's he's such an old soul. And my brother knew how much like I looked up to Depps and how much like because me and Depps had a, had a connection as well. We had a, a big connection. Deb saw that I was going through a hard time. I was living in the hostel and things like that, and the whole situation with, do you know what I mean? Losing my mom and stuff like that. So, like, when Deb's passed away, I was just like, fuck it. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm. how, uh, like, felt like looking up in the sky, like, come on, like, why now? Like, please, man, like, like, no more, do you know what I mean? Like, why is this happening, man? Like. There's a, there's, there's a time I came to Yassine's studio just after Dex passed away, and you were there. I think I came maybe once or twice, um, and strangely I haven't been back since. But like, yeah. you know, but I know I know there was a lot of us there, um, and and you were there, and I could see like you were in you were in a bad place, yeah. like you were in a really bad place. So seeing you now, yeah. and seeing how happy you are now, yeah. and did 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 your you know did you having your fiance at the time? Was that one again one of the things that really yeah. kind of helped you through that situation? Yeah, I mean, Dap says she's an angel. Dap mm. was like she's an angel. She was. I can only say she was been sent to you to save your life. Mm. She saved you at the right time. So it's like, and the worst period of my life, the best things came. Do you know what I mean? My future came because it was make or break, mm. and. I realised to myself at a time where I knew I didn't want the dunya, which is what in Islam we call is like all the glitz and glamour, the illusion and it, the dunya, because I just lost my mum, I wasn't in a, the dunya them times and it. So that was the best time for me to change my life because I looked at that as a sign from Allah. Mm. And I took that as a sign and you can't ignore this sign. Do you know what I mean? And then yeah, I got into that. And then, as I was slipping, as well, I started slipping, I started slipping, and boom, Josh. So I'm like, what? what's the next sign, me? 
Am I the next sign? Am I a sign for, for next man? Is it going to be me that's going to be dead next? Without a chance to repent, without a chance to get to where I wanted to get in life, to raise a good family. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? So that was when I realised, scrap the ball by the horns, man. At the end of the day, it's all, it's, it's, do you know what I mean? It's all butter. All, it's all, do you know what I mean? All this glitz and glamour. It's not, and I had a little glimpse of it. Had a glimpse of it through Depths. Had a glimpse of it through Sucks. I've had a glimpse of it through JK. Mm. I've been around Jam and Skepta and them like I've seen what it's like. I've been to Magaluf with them like and we got treated like stars, do you know what I mean? Just walking into any club, do you know what I mean? Get out of them pouring themselves all over man. But obviously I was I was engaged again, yeah, so yeah, I was yeah. like, do you know what I'm saying? So it was one of them ones I'm like, is it worth it? Is it really worth it? I mean a lot of people are doing it. I was doing it at one point, I was broke, I was in a hostel. I ain't broke now. I ain't in a hostel. I ain't got no excuse. I ain't got so many hours in a day to fill up doing nothing. I might as well write a bar, I might as well write a tune or loiter on the street and sit on a wall and do a music video. It ain't like that anymore. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? It's just the essence. It's just the music now. Mm. It's just the music. It's just, yo, I need to, I'm itching, I need to go make a tune. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's all, it's, it's all changed now. It's, it's, it, talking to you, I mean, we, we've got here um, the makings of a, of a, a a real kind of personal success story okay. for, for yourself, and no, it's it's not it's, through music. No, not through music. <laughs> but it's important, though, man, because yeah. there's everybody. Real life is real life, man. Like this music thing we live, we you know, we it's 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 okay. It's cool. It's music, whatever. Yeah, we're still human beings, and, yeah. and real life is real life, and yeah. people's stories are people's stories. And I feel like you know how how did you find yourself in a hostel? Because this is like. Um, you said this a few times. You broke. Yeah. Now you're happy. You you got daughter. We're talking. Is it a little girl? Daughter, yeah. yeah. We'll talk about that okay, shortly. Yeah. Um, but you've. How did you find yourself where you were to where you are now? Um. Obviously, yeah. I wasn't. I wasn't the best child I could have been to my parents. Do you know what I mean? I wasn't as bad as I've seen. I wasn't, do you know what I mean? I wasn't constantly bringing police to the door. I wasn't stealing from my, my parents or mm. things like that. But from a young age, my brother left school. He got a job straight away. And then he went into the forces. So from a job to the forces, came back, do you know what I mean? You can imagine what happens when you go to the army or the navy or the air force or whatever. They build you. They yeah, I had two uncles that went into the forces, so I know how that And then man up early when they don't need to be. Yeah. They will yeah. not leave the yard messy. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? They mm. Fold everything up. You don't need to fold that, fam. Just leave it. You get me? No, 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 no. So obviously he came back and he was he was made as a man. Yeah. So he's always had jobs. Now, obviously, I'm not black, yeah? I'm mixed race. I'm half Arab, half white. All of my friends were black, yeah? And they were wrongans. This was before like SHM. This is when I was younger, and and my friends were wrongans. And a lot of them are the same me now. They they they, you know what I mean? They've changed their life. So my dad was seeing me stray, and my dad's been been on the roadside from when he was young because he was living in Borsaheef, and do you know what I mean? The the Arabs and the Rastas used to play football a lot, and. You know what I mean? There was a lot of mix up and there was a lot of gang warfare in them days as well. And yeah. and it was worse them days because mans would kill you. It wasn't just, yo, to beat you up to get a stripe. It was like proper raw stuff back in them days. So my dad knew where I could go and he's watching his, his son, my brother, succeeding. You know what I mean? It, if he loses a job, he'll get a job right there. Like, I can't be arsed, I'm just in the yard, like, yo, I'm just waiting for the man them to knock on the door, then I'm going out, coming back, eyes bloodshot to hell, like, lean up bad, you know what I mean? And raiding out the kitchen and that, and like, my mum and dad are looking at me like, is this boy for real? Do you know what I mean? And I thought there ain't nothing wrong with it because that's how they're living, that's how my brethren are living, do you know what I mean? Because they don't come from, you know what I mean, the same house that I come from. Do you know what I mean? Their mum or their dad's doing whatever, you know what I mean? They, they're they just like, let them find themselves, do you know what I mean? But my dad and my mum, that's not the way we do it, do you know what I mean? If he doesn't fix up, he's gone, we're going to throw him out, do you know what I mean? So I was a very argumentative person. When you smoke cannabis, yeah, you're very grouchy, do you know what I mean? So when they tell me, yo, you need to get a job, I'd find 500 ways 
of <laughs> making it sound like I don't actually need to get a job. Yeah. Oh, because of the government and they just want you to get a job and talking all that crap and this and that. So, yeah, boom. I'd get thrown out a lot. I'd come back. I'd get thrown out a lot. When it came to the to the, the last days, a lot of things happened in my family. I don't want to go into too much, but okay. obviously, I was I was on road, homeless. Mm. I'm talking not. I'm talking homeless, like bro. Homeless, homeless. Fam, I had a tiger, bro. There ain't no feeling like I'm not. I wasn't a druggie or nothing, but there yeah. ain't no feeling like homeless, bro. Survival, bro. Like yeah. literally, okay, what? Literally out in the streets, homeless, homeless. Bro. homeless bro. So where where were you like? Where were you sleeping? Like what? Like do you know what it is? I did, they say there's sofa surfing in it. I'd go to a few. I'd, your bridging would take you in, yeah. Mm. Bridging would take you in, and ah, uh, you know what? You know what? I gotta say I got love for my bridging see murder, you know, because and and mix, yeah, because them man would make out like they just want me to chill. Come come chill at mine, you get me to keep what little bit of pride and dignity yeah. I had intact. You get me? You know what, man's will probably see this and be like, uh, this geezer, but yo, this is real talks fam, like this is some real, do you get me, real shit right now. So obviously, boom, I wouldn't want to, you can't, do you know what I mean? You can't wear out the option. Your brain just taking you and you can't just be on his couch and yeah. see murders mum bless her like she would just want me to stay there no 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 stay stay you know what i'm saying like she's jamaican you get me and she and a lot of them couldn't believe how my family would kick me out but you know what it was the best thing for me it was the best thing for me man even like my in-law says well how did they i can't believe they'd kick their son they, they, you know it's the best thing for me but as it says yeah like yo boom all right, this is some bare girl shit now. When you're sleeping on roads, yeah, you need a surface to sleep on because you can't touch the floor. Yeah. You can't make be in contact with a wall or anything like that because it will just suck out all your, your body heat. You get me? I can't believe I'm talking about this shit, bro. <laughs> I swear, I, I am going to edit it. If I clash again, oh my days, I'm getting it, bro. I can't see you doing that, to be honest bro, with you, from, from as, how, we, how we talk. But I, I, think it's a, I think it's a story that I think a lot of people will take some... Yeah. You know, something from. If you ever seen D2 in the early stages, yeah, with a big alopecia spot on my chin, yeah, that was just after them times. That was the, the stress. Stress. So, obviously, yeah, boom, fam, man would break into a car, bro, just to sleep in it. Man would, <laughs> man would rip, you know, <laughs> you know, like you got a door, yeah, with curtains. <laughs> <laughs> load of curtain for the door. Man would put his hand in the letterbox and rip somebody's curtain out of the letterbox, bro. Wow. Man would look in a skip for a a carpet, bro. Mm. And and go into you know you got them estates where they've got like the hang up clothes in that one garden yeah, 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 thing, that spider thing, yeah. thing. Man would go in there and wrap myself in a fucking carpet, bro. You get me, bro some real shit bruv that's the shit I've seen that's where I've come from bruv man can't tell me you diss me about that you can diss me about that car where am I now bruv yeah, 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 I, yeah, yeah. I had survive, to see man. that you, you, that's what I'm saying you, survival bruv that was that bare grill shit in the city bruv do you know what I'm saying mm. and obviously like I'd get I'd get handouts here and there people would take me in so obviously I thought to myself I can't do this anymore like you get me? You go to the... People say, oh, why can't you go to the job centre, do this? You go to the job centre and you're homeless. You ain't got credit. You can't make it to this appointment and you get sanctioned. Now what are you going to do, bro? You're sanctioned. You can't pay can't no rent. Money. You mm. can't get no money. So when people say, oh, they're homeless, they, they don't need to be homeless. So it's not as easy as you think. Sometimes there's... When you're young, you, you fuck up, innit? Mm. You fuck up. You miss a few things and then you're sanctioned. Then you're like, shit, what am I going to do now? I can't get to the job centre. I can't do this. I can't do that. Yeah, how, I guess you don't even have the money to get to the job How are you getting this out of me? What the f***? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, yeah, sick geezer. But obviously, yeah, boom. So I've seen, I've been at rock bottom, yeah? Yeah. yeah. And, then, and then after that, my mother passed away. Do you know what I'm mm. saying? And I counted every day that I was on road cursing at my parents they left me like this they don't care about me and i just thought you fucking idiot you, no, no, you could have been well, yeah. you could have just been a good child and all of it at that time you could have had with your mom bless her soul do you know what i mean mm. but because i was a delinquent feeling sorry for myself on road yeah that's their, their fault that's you blame everybody else when you know what i mean for your mistakes so that's how i realized you know what i mean second time around I ain't blaming nobody else. 
I ain't making no excuses for myself. So when my mum passed away, I was like, yo, I got to fix my life up. I got to change my life, you mm. get me? And do you know what I mean? Alhamdulillah, my wife was, do you know what I mean? She was my golden ticket, man. She was my ticket. And and now, like, after, and uh, the, uh, there's a reason why I asked you all of that is because I can say, I can see how happy you are. Like, I can you can feel it. And now having a, a, a child now, and, and, and having the, the, the next the next step from, you know, having the wife that's obviously saved you from a life that I can, you know, I can just tell, like, you would have gone down a completely yeah. different path. Like yeah. I said, I'm not lying to you when I say I could see in you, you were yeah. in a bad place, yeah. you know, when, I, when, when, when debts passed away. So for to go from where you were, having the strength to kind of pick yourself back up yeah. to now having a child and having yeah. now what you want, you know, you wanted to have a child and raise a family. This is, you know, you've said this is what you want. Yeah. How does how do you feel now at the stage you're at now, living life? Oh man, my um, obviously my daughter was pre premature in it. My daughter's premature. My wife had a she had a very hard pregnancy. Do you know what I mean? She was she was in and out of hospital stuff like that. I don't want to go into too much of it because that's her business. But obviously when you have the C-section and everything, yeah. yeah. And I, I remember, I, like, I was thinking to myself, wow, like, imagine what she's feeling right now, walking into that thing, and it's like, you know what I mean? They've got these big lights on this bed and thing, and I'm thinking, yo, she must be shook right now. And I'm just trying to keep her, keep her, yo, after this, don't worry, we're going to go to Dubai. And because we went on our honeymoon, do you know what I mean? Mm. Our baby's a honeymoon baby, do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, everything's meant to be, man. We go on the honeymoon, we come back, we're pregnant. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, yo, what did we not do when we was in Dubai? What did we not do? We'll do it next time. And, I, and she's looking at me, she's like, and I can just see she's a wreck. And then we're on the table and... You know what I mean? They, they give her the injection and everything and, you know what I mean? They cover it up. I thought it would have been a lot worse than it is, you know what I mean? I thought it'd be a very serious thing. But them doctors, they're just so calm and it helps because ju it's just like they're, they're eating their dinner. They're mm. just like, yeah, we're going to pass me the scalpel. Yeah, and on Tuesday, I think we should go to this place. And I'm thinking, you know what? That's good because they're, it's, they're so relaxed in doing it. It will keep us relaxed. And then I can, she's like, they're pulling. I can feel it pulling. And then when... She's like, it's out. And she looked at me and she's like, it's out. And this is me like trying to say, yeah, no, don't worry about what, what's going on. We're going to be in Dubai and this and that. And the doctor said after, I respect what you did in there because you mm. helped her. The yeah, 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 just calm her down. And then when they pulled the baby out, yeah, and I heard the baby cry because I was so worried because it's premature that I heard the baby cry. <sighs> I think I saw heaven. Mm. Even though it was just hearing something, it was like time just stopped and slowed down and I was just weightless. And I was looking in my wife's eyes and she was like, oh! and I just heard the baby cry and I was like, oh my God. Bro, there's nothing that- I'm a father, I know. Like, I'm just thinking about thinking about my daughter being born now. Or this, and there's no trying not to cry because this is what like, I'm I can, saying, I can, bro, I can, you know I can what? feel like where you're bro. at, man. I can feel it, bro. That's what I'm saying. I can feel bro. It, bro. There's nothing, no nothing that the donya can give me. Nothing I can get through music, through through basic chicks, thoughts, jewelry. You know what I mean? Glitz and glamour. There's nothing. Nothing. Trust mm. me, fam. Nothing can rival that. Nothing can match that. Do you know what I'm saying? So. That's all I wanted. Yeah, I'm yeah, there yeah. now, and now I've got my my child. I went through a hard time with her because she was she, they, they took her to Worcester, and we we had to do you know what I mean? I had to go from from work to try get a lift up there, and saying to all my family, okay, can you take me Worcester? Can you take me Worcester? Everyone's got jobs. Everyone's got things to do. You know what I'm saying? So she's home now, yeah. She's got the feeding tube out. I'm feeding. I'm I'm feeding her with a bottle. Do you get me? I'm burping her. I'm. Do you know what I mean? My daughter's just looking at me and that, you know what I mean? Like, I'm her daddy, like, I'm still, a, I feel like I'm still a child out here, you know what I mean? But she's going to grow up and I'm going to be the only man in her life. I'm going to be the everything, you know what I mean? Whatever he says is gospel, you know what I mean? To my child, you like that. And that's when you think about life, when, when things are hard at home and you're blaming your parents, they're just human as well. They make mistakes. Yeah. My dad got with my mum when they were young. Do you know what I'm saying? That's like me raising a family when I was 17, when I was a little delinquent You, How could I have raised a family right in them days? So now it's my turn. Do you know what I'm saying? Music can't come in the way of that. I can't say to my wife, oh, no, no, I've got to, got to do this, got to do that. Do you know what I mean? She's probably pissed that I'm here. 
<laughs> I could be burping my child right now. <laughs> yeah. But at the same time, life goes on. Do you know what I mean? You yeah. still have to, do you know what I mean? You still do your things. I say to her, if you're going to a family wedding, do you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to moan at you. You get me? Like, like uh, bless his soul. We buried Stig last night. Yeah, I know. We were talking about that when you we came We were talking in, about yeah. that earlier. He came off his motorbike. So, and she, and after the funeral, after the ride out, we all went out on our motorbikes. There was a wake and I came back at half 11, which is one of the late, feedings of my child and i got right through the door and i was like yes 35 minutes past and she's like where have you been this and that and it was funny to me because it was like here i am now yeah, with yeah. the morning bms but even though she's my wife but i was like this is where i am now you get yeah. me like i'm coming home and my, my missus is cussing me out for being out on road and i'm like you know what this is the way it's meant to be man like mm. this is why if i'm out on road i should cherish it because it's you know what i mean time's ticking i need to get back need to, to get the baby back, yeah. even when i got something important to do i've always got something more important to do and that's my baby man. do you know like that that's what's more important than that you get me and uh i think this is a good place for me to say to you you know having heard the the the, the ups the downs where you are musically etc yeah. where you are with life um, to just you know ask you that my, my question is where do you see yourself in I've heard where you've been yeah. and it's been amazing to kind of have you you know share that story but where do you see yourself in three to five years from now <sighs> <laughs> she's gonna kill me back in the hospital <laughs> back in the hospital yeah yeah inshallah with my with my baby boy yeah yeah and and hopefully sh do you know what I mean it's not a cesarean this time do you know what I'm saying why not? Do you know what I mean? Next man would be like, oh yeah, I see myself, I'm going to be in the charts and all that crap. Yo, I'm going to be back in the hospital, yeah. I know my wife, after the, the pregnancy that she just had, she doesn't want to have another baby. But yeah, man, back in the hospital, baby boy. That's where I want to be, yeah? That's where I want to be, man. Bro, congratulations, man. Congratulations, <laughs> and, and I'm just having heard the story, and me and you are in each other's lives. We're proud of you, man. Like seriously, thank you, it's, bro. It's, it's amazing. Um, you've been watching me, the artist. Um, I'm Desperate Robinson. Uh, you've been watching B83, and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>